Good morning, MTC fam. I just touched down here in Marrakesh, Morocco last night, and I'm ready for a full day of exploring. I feel like I forgot something. Uh, phone wallet keys. I forgot Claire. I forgot to pack Claire. My own girlfriend, I forgot to pack her. Okay, um, City of Magic, Magic Lamp. I don't have a Magic Lamp. Snap, I'll snap. Okay, hold on. <laughs> This is embarrassing. Okay. Okay, hold on. Hey! <laughs> that was super cheesy. But we are here and we are ready to explore. Are you ready to explore? I definitely am. Okay, cool. Well, we are starting at none other than our hotel here, our Riyadh, Riyadh which is a term for the big house, mm -hmm. big house which is essentially what it is. It's a big house with a bunch of rooms, and that's where we're staying at. They have breakfast for us, so we're gonna start there and then explore the city. So, welcome guys to Marrakesh, Morocco. Welcome to our breakfast. It consists of these crepe kind of things. Bread, orange juice, coffee, marmalade, and cheese. So we're gonna eat this before going out and exploring. This is the crepe. Right, guys we are here at Le Jardin Secret. Le Jardin Secret. But it's not secret. It's very busy. It is a garden place. It's a, I would say two-part garden place. There's like a little foyer courtyard just past here and then this is the big area. It has a nice gazebo. That's quite nice. It has some informational facts about the actual like digging and creation of it. It's quite peaceful other than the people yelling and the baby is crying. <laughs> so we're just gonna wander around here, look at some trees. And uncover some secrets. Hopefully. <laughs> big red bus tour it's called city tours here if you don't have a personal guide or excursion that's going to take you to different places this is your next best option so it's going to take you to all the big sites that Marrakesh has to offer it's hop on hop off so wherever you want to go you can get off and then hop back on we don't have a guided tour so we're just gonna wave we're gonna see all the things that are on the map so I think that's pretty cool Welcome to our first stop on the bus tour, and that is Minara Gardens, or Gardens of Minara, whichever way you want to state it. What it is, is a free park that is a lot of rows of trees, and this large body of water that is, it's nice to look out from a distance, but if you look up close, it's really nasty, stagnant water with, dead fish. with a bunch of dead fish in it. But if you look at it from a distance, it looks quite lovely. So, the nice things about this place, it's free. There is no covering, so if you are sensitive to the sun, 
such as this one. Just call me white. Bring your sunscreen, because it's a hot one. What would you rate it as? I would say it's a good 6 out of 10. Wow, that's pretty. 6 out of 10, sure. What would you give it? 4? Oh, this one's hard to please. I am hard to please. He's a prince. To be fair, we haven't finished the park yet. That's true. We have not finished the park, so we should. So, the best is yet to come. The best <laughs> is yet to come. Now we are here at a restaurant called Nomad. This is a restaurant that Claire found. Very difficult to navigate here in Morocco. The streets are they're just so small, so it's hard to navigate. But we're here. I got the the pork couscous and Claire got the pumpkin couscous. <laughs> the pumpkin vegetarian version of couscous. So we are about to dig in. having a great day so far. We're currently at a little cafe because a girl has to have her ice cream so we're waiting for a gelato to come. Adam, you know, he didn't want ice cream in the moment but he didn't fight me so I think he does want ice cream. The ice cream was average. It was average but you know, we just gotta have it. It is what it is. Welcome back to our Riyadh. It was a little difficult to get videos and pictures within the actual marketplace because a lot of people will come up to you screaming and yelling, asking for money because they're thinking you took a picture or a video of some crazy things that they had. They had kind of what you would imagine a marketplace in Morocco to have. There were the cobras under the uh, covers that they have with a da 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 Like, I'm terrified of snakes, so that was awful, because I'm pretty sure that these people aren't trained in snakes. So if that cobra, I mean, all it's doing every single day is getting irritated. So if that cobra one day wants to revolt, it was coming straight for my leg. So we walked past that, but I mean, this marketplace is just crazy. It has a bunch of food and fruit, vegetables, really anything you can imagine, a bunch of people trying to sell you watches and stuff. We're back here, changing, getting ready for dinner. So we're gonna get dressed and then we're gonna head out. All right, guys, we are back from dinner. It was my favorite meal so far. Well, we've had some great meals. Now, it's time to hit the hay because bright and early, we are riding some camels and we are going to the Atlas Mountains. We found this trip on TripAdvisor, so hopefully it's good. It was very inexpensive, so hopefully we get more than we paid for. So we'll see you guys tomorrow morning.
So, welcome to another day here in Morocco. We are currently walking, but here's Claire. <laughs> we started our day a little bit interesting. We were apparently late for our tour, but we were in the right place at once the right we found time. at the right time, but once we found that, we uh, got on the bus. The bus drove us to our first stop, which was probably 20, 25 minutes? Yeah, 30. 25 minutes, 30 minutes away. That took us to what seemed to be a parking lot. And we rode some camels there and they were nice enough to give us some tea and biscuits. Some tea and biscuits. And we waited, we were probably there for what? Two hours? An yeah. Hour? Two hours, hour and a half, something like that. And then we got back on the bus. We drove to our next stop, which was a bathroom, so that's nice. And then after that stop, we went over to a- The Oregon oil? Yeah, the oil stop, <laughs> where they gave us kind of like a pre-lunch uh, bread, but we got to try three different kinds of oil. We tried uh, a peanut kind of oil, which I think was your favorite? Yeah. Yeah, peanut oil to dip uh, bread in, then an olive oil and a, what's the third one? Argan. An argan oil. Yeah. And, and then, then they, showed, they demonstrated how they make it. Yeah, well. they, there were three ladies making it, and so they demonstrated how to make it and all the products that they had, and then you can purchase them if you want to or not. Our next stop after that, we went to a overlook to look at a hillside. Uh, yes, a hillside, and then they took us to probably an, another hour drive, and we went to a stop where we had to hike, and then went to our tour guide's house for lunch. We met his mom. <laughs> met his mom and, and his sister. Right. And his cat. <laughs> and his cat, exactly. We ate lunch there. It was a traditional Moroccan food, so the couscous. Uh, chicken, vegetables, uh, a little bit of salad, bread. and bread. And now we are hiking. We hiked through a little village, and now we got not, to see the sheep hiking as well. We got to see the sheep hiking. The chickens, the goats. We're not really sure where we're going to now. We're just walking in through villages, so we're going to continue doing that until our tour guide tells us to stop. <laughs> but our our next stops are. I believe the Atlas Mountains, the other side of it, and then the... Uh, we're gonna see sunset. We're gonna see the sunset in the desert, I believe. So, onward. guys to the desert we are here it's a long drive but it is the end of our bus tour or our excursion if you will and we're ending it here we just watched a lovely sunset had some tea and got to spend some time with my beautiful girlfriend so we are wishing you guys a wonderful night and we'll see you tomorrow I love you I love you more <laughs> Good morning. We are here at the Palace de la Bahia, which is a palace that was built in the late 19th century, according to Wikipedia. And it has a bunch of trees and mosaic in there. You do have to pay to go in, but it's fairly inexpensive and it's four courtyards, I think. Yeah, something like that. Four courtyards with some rooms off of it. Um, just really beautiful nice, gardens beautiful and... gardens, very nice uh, mosaic tiling and some stained glass in there. So, welcome to the Palace Bahia.
we are at the Royal Mansour Hotel. Mansour Hotel. It is a hotel, bar, spa, restaurant. Luxury. Luxury dropped into the middle of Marrakesh. If you want to experience this beautiful resort, and you should, I would say it's a highlight of our trip. Yeah. It smells like fresh flowers. Bathrooms are on point. Like, some of the nicest bathrooms that I've seen. I could have lived in the bathroom. Yeah, they had nice <laughs> lotions. If you want to experience this place, it is more than reasonable. You can stop by, get a coffee for around $8. Dollars. <laughs> That's what it seems like, $8 US. Get a nice cappuccino, sit by the pool, or if you want to spend a little bit more money, the dining is obviously way more expensive and you have to make reservations. You should take time to see this place because their main lobby is absolutely stunning. So, the Royal Mansour. Guys, we have come to the end of our trip here in Morocco. We had a great time. We enjoyed the sights, we enjoyed the desert, the, Atlas, the, camels. the camels, the Atlas Mountains, and the marketplace of uh, Marrakesh. So we are coming to an end of our day, enjoying a nice sunset. And then we are off tomorrow back to the UK. But what was your favorite part? Probably the desert. The desert. The, the des sunset there was gorgeous. Yeah, the desert was really cool. Um, and the tea. They give us a lot of sweet tea. A lot of tea. Got to see some really cool... And the lanterns and the... Riads and lanterns, yeah. The little markets. Yeah, so we had a great time here. But all good things must come to an end. But there's so much more, right? Of course. If you liked this video, we hope you did, make sure to hit that like button. Also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you're looking for a guide to Marrakesh, I'm putting out a guide called Time Out Adam, the first edition uh, where you're gonna learn the tips, the tricks, and the truth about our time out in these destinations. So if you are looking for a guide to that, take a look at that. Anyways, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's go find some magic somewhere else.